for those I haven't met yet, my name is Kay Ahieva. <clears throat> In trying to figure out what to speak about today, based on the topics Jane gave, I had a, I had a great excitement to share a recent transformation. And yet I realized in that exploration of that, there's still more to do. Isn't there always, <laughs> there's always more, there's another layer. I realized it because I couldn't, I couldn't focus in. Usually I'm pretty good at focusing in on what to speak about. What am I feeling? What am I thinking? Okay, bringing that together. Okay, go. Um, but this transformation is mind boggling because of the self doubt and the voices inside that create confusion in my mind. Anybody else create, experience that? Uh, Bob's like, eh. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, that's exactly where I need to go. <laughs> so I'm going to be here vulnerably in that experience. Uh, yesterday was a great victory. Lana and I offered hula, uh, Hawaiian form of dance. So um and brookie were with us in heart and others peggy and uh, peggy was there and others um for the asian american asian pacific islander demi american month for celebration <clears throat> first it was asian american asian pacific islander month and now we've added desi america with india and all the way to turkey it's it's crazy i don't know they put all of us clumped up but um <clears throat> it's it's meant for education healing you know, forgiveness through education, freedom through that forgiving, forgiveness, you know, so it's, it's a lot about different cultures coming together and sharing their, their cultures, the truth of their culture. So I got to represent the Hawaiian islands. There was another group there, <clears throat> Alama Polynesian dancers. I don't know. I looked at their website. I'm like, oh, these guys are professional. They got a website, they got videos, they got all this stuff, you know. And I've been dancing since I was a kid. Um, I've danced professionally in all different kinds of genres and venues around the States and now around the world, actually, at our sister communities. But I was intimidated by this group. I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. We shouldn't offer it because, you know, we're, you know, it's a smaller group of us. You know, we do this as a hobby on the side. We don't like, this is not a business. Like they do like weddings and all these, all the list of stuff they do. I was like, whoa, ooh, you know, <laughs> I was intimidated. And then I thought about why am I intimidated? Why? Because I've danced with other groups before. I've, I've performed even ukulele and music and, or just not even Hawaiian, just other, I, I perform I, a lot and I've, um, it's this voice of, because I wasn't born in Hawaii, even somebody said, oh, you're not Hawaiian because you were born in Las Vegas. I'm like, no, I'm Hawaiian. I could have been born in Egypt. I'm still Hawaiian. <laughs> you know? But you're not Hawaiian if you don't, if you're born in Hawaii. It's just a thing, right? It's just a natural thing. No, that's not how culture works. Your genealogy does not work that way. You could be born in the moon and you're still Hawaiian. <laughs> but there is that. Um, I didn't learn hula traditionally. I didn't go through the gauntlet of like going through like all the different levels. You know, there's like a Harvard college, not actual Harvard, but it was like a tense level of um, predation and testing you go through to become a kumu hula, right? And it's very serious. And I respect that very much. And that's honoring the ancient ways. But I haven't had the opportunity to do that. I never did. I was doing other things to become the crazy gal that I am today, to experience different things, to um, learn, um, you know, different things. I was born in Las Vegas. I call it the Ninth Island and of Hawaii, and, and then raised between Hawaii and Vegas. So just lived two different worlds, and I was experiencing, exploring that. When I was going into my heritage and my into my ancestry, into the history of the Hawaiian people, some elders at that time told me, why are you going back there? I'm like, well, I'm trying to find out who am I? You know, who am I? What am I to do? And they're like, well, it's not back there. <laughs> you know, we know that stuff. You don't need to go digging that up, hashing that. You, you need to be here. What does that mean? And they're like, well, maybe you're supposed to be a bridge, you know? And, and then one of them said, 
you know, I think you're supposed to bring the new aloha, aloha forward because you're that bridge. We don't speak that language. We don't understand. Sometimes we don't even understand you. I'm like, hey, you know, <laughs> because there's the mix, right? I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then my name, Keahi, um, a deeper learning of what that meant. So then I've been on that journey. You see what I'm saying? So I was, I was guided back to where I'm supposed to be through all the this confusion <laughs> and dissonance that I was experiencing. So fast forward to yesterday. Um, all that came. You weren't trained. You weren't born there. All this. Da, 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 da. Um, so I was actually the night before last. I was with a friend after um, high school graduation of a young man that I was there for his birth. Oh, my gosh, Josiah. I was reflecting, and I'm like, you know what? I'm supposed to bring the new aloha today through me. And that's what that means. It's not regurgitating you know not i'm not discrediting what those the people that um keep the ancestral pattern but um i can't do that i can't try it would be regurgitating if i tried it because it would be it wouldn't be real it wouldn't be from my experience i guess what i'm what i'm coming to is um you know change Sometimes you can really clearly see the change that needs to be made. And sometimes the dissonance and unclarity is actually where you need to go to bring the change. And that's been my recent experience. I had another one with a blog I was asked to write. David asked a few of us to write blogs while he was away. And I thought, oh, I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about this. And I couldn't, couldn't, couldn't. And I'm like, uh oh, this, what's happening here? You know, just so it's, for me, it's a practice of, being centered in the dissonance, in the questioning, in the self-doubt. Okay, what is mine to do? And how is it to be? How is it to come out? How is it to create? I just want to say the victory of both of those things. The blog came out great. Thank you, Jane. She helped me. And Tim, my friend Tim, helped me. Um, and then yesterday, the, the, the performance. So the troupe was great. That professional troupe was great. And if you know me and how I dance and how what we offer is very different, very deep heart, very inspirational. Let's go, mission driven. <laughs> Not that they're one, but it was. But they educated. They talked about Tahiti, a little bit Tahiti, uh, Samoa, a little bit. Uh, they touched on the different, some different uh, Polynesian cultures, and so that was nice to get a taste of that in Colorado, right? A lot of people haven't experienced that firsthand. You know, and so there were Japanese taiko drummers. I've always wanted to take that in Hawaii. Oh, those lessons and uh, Filipina dances. And I'm part Filipina, and I didn't even, I didn't even know about this dance that they do with these these glass jars with with, with flames in it. They do this kind of thing, and I'm like, whoa, that's pretty cool. So I, I know this woman that was doing that. She just spent a month in Hawaii. I mean, the Philippines, and I just spent a month in South Africa. So we're gonna meet together and share our months. But I was like, I want to learn more about my Filipina side. I've always been ashamed of it. That's a whole other story. But it's like, she's like, I will share with you. And I was like, wow, the way we show up, do what's ours to do. She went to the Philippines to share, to, ex to learn more of her culture. And then now it's coming back to Colorado. Anyway, so yeah. Um, being part of the Fertile Crescent, have the courage to, to be centered in the dissonance and bring your gifts, whatever that gift may look like in the moment. So thank you for being with me in that. And I